A blessed afternoon to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time and the Pontifical Work of St. Peter the Apostle. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Alfredo Rollon Jr. SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Shown us his ways, he gathers us to his table to partake of his grace. Come, let us sing to every nation, praise our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let us celebrate the greatness of our God and King in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. Good afternoon, Father. We will hear stories of healing, of kindness and compassion of our God towards those who are suffering because of sickness, because of death. And so we put our trust in Him, that He will heal us, He will protect us, and He will bring us to the life that He promised. And our Eucharist is a reminder of that, a reminder of the love of God, the compassion of Jesus, and the desire of God the Father to save us through Jesus Christ. And so with this, we now call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. As we pray, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth. Amen. 
Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome, and there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world. And they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. to the Lord, you who his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. <laughs> pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks.
from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality. Your abundance at the present time should supply their needs, so that their abundance may also supply your needs, that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord when jesus had crossed back to the other side of the sea of galilee in the boat a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the lake one of the officials of the synagogue a man named jairus came near Seeing Jesus, he fell at his feet and made this earnest appeal. My little daughter is critically ill. Please come and lay your hands on her so that she may get well and live. The two went off together, and a large crowd followed, pushing against Jesus. There was a woman in the area who had been afflicted with a hemorrhage for a dozen years. She had received treatment at the hands of doctors of every sort and exhausted her savings in the process, yet she got no relief. On the contrary, she only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and put her hand to his cloak. If I just touch his clothing, she thought, I shall get well. Immediately her flow of blood dried up, and the feeling that was cured of her affliction ran through her whole body. Jesus was immediately conscious that healing power had gone out from him. Wheeling about in the crowd, he began to ask, Who touched my clothing? His disciples said to him, You can see how this crowd hems you in, yet you ask who touched me? Despite this, he kept looking around to see the woman who had done it. Fearful and beginning to tremble now, as she realized what had happened, the woman came and fell in front of him and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, it is your faith that has cured you. Go in peace and be free of this illness. He had not finished speaking when people from the official's house arrived saying, Your daughter 
is dead. Why bother the teacher further? Jesus disregarded the report that had been brought and said to the official, Fear is useless. What is needed is trust. He would not permit anyone to follow him except Peter, James, and James, brother of John. As they approached the house of the synagogue leader, synagogue leader, Jesus was struck by the noise of people wailing and crying loudly on all sides. He entered and said to them, Why do you make this din with your wailing? The child is not dead. She is asleep. At this they began to ridicule him. Then he put them all then he put them all out. Jesus took the child's father and mother and his own companions and entered the room where the child lay. Taking her hand, he said to her, Talita kum, which means, little girl, get up. The girl, a child of twelve, stood up immediately and began to walk around. At this, the family's astonishment was complete. He enjoined them strictly not to let anyone know about it and told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ay merong isang kasamang madre noon sa, sa isang center for Filipinos and migrants, an RGS sister. Medyo matanda na siya. But she has the, a funny side na meron siyang mga panahon na kung saan gustong-gusto niya yung nagbibiro. Now, although many will see her as a very strict nun, pero meron siyang ganung side. At isang araw, dumating ako sa center, sabi niya sa akin, Father, may tumawag. Somebody called the center looking for a priest sa isang hospital, Rotonji Hospital yata ang tawag doon. And sabi niya, they're asking for anointing, mga Pilipino ito. Sabi ko, eh anong sabi mo? Eh I asked them kung ilang araw pa ba ang sabi ng doktor? Because they sounded as really they are asking me to go there immediately. And the sister, I don't know if she really said it to the family or she just wanted to crack a joke. <laughs> Sabi niya, Eh, Father Don, nung marinig ko ng mga three days pa raw. Sabi ko, eh, pagpupuntahin ko na lang dyan si Father Don sa ikatlong araw on the third day. Sayang pa yung dalawang araw nyo o tatlong araw nyo, makakasama nyo pa siya. Kasi pagdating ni Father Don dyan, pagka-anoyin dyan, mamamatay na yan. <laughs> Sabi ko, sister, ginawa mo naman akong agent of death. And then she started to, to, to smile, to laugh. Eh, kasi nga naman, malimit sa kwentuhan namin, ganun. Na, I went to the hospital, nag-anoint ako, kaalis ko lang, tumawag na ang pamilya, wala na po si tatay, wala na po si nanay, wala na po si kuya, wala na po si ate. I even experienced na nasa bahay pa ako nung inanoint ko. And then, nagkakapi ako, namatay yung aking inanoint. At yung pamilya, masama tingin sa akin. No? Well, of course, hindi natin mawawala, hindi mawawala yun. Dahil most of the time, if we call for anointing, it is already in the danger of death. May side naman talaga na ganun ang anointing. It is the preparation no, for a person. But then, meron ding important side of the anointing and healing and praying over that it is for the healing, for the recovery of health of the person. More likely, ito yung sinasabi ng, ng ano, sa letter uh, of St. James in the fifth chapter of the letter, verse 14, telling the community that if anyone among you is sick, let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil. And then, 
of course, by anointing it, use the name of the Lord. Bakit? Kasi may ganitong ipinakita ang Panginoon nung naaandito siya sa lupa nung panahon nating Panginoon. Ayan nga ang narinig natin sa ating pagbasa ngayon. Of course, the purpose of Mark is to portray Jesus as the Son of God. At isang paraan dito ay pagpapakita ng kanyang kapangyarihan. At ang kapangyarihan niyang ito ay isa na nga ay ang pagpapagaling sa mga may sakit, the healing of the sick people. Ang isang commentary dito sabi dito, by showing His power, pinakita ng Panginoon na He cares a lot sa ating lahat. And this miracle happened on the side of what they call the, the, side, the other side of Galilee. No, na kung saan ay pinamalas ng Panginoon ang apat na miracles. Yung una ay yung last week na coming of the storm. And then, sinundan daw ito ng tatlong miracles. Yung isa ay um, cleansing or healing of a person possessed by a devil or a demon. Pero hindi yun ang pinakita sa atin ngayon. Ang pinakita sa atin ngayon ay the healing of a woman suffering from bleeding and um, the healing of the daughter of Jairus. Telling us na this Jesus is indeed a God of power. Isang, isang uh, important element yan sa ating pagbabahagi ng Ebanghelyo ni Saint Mark. The power that is beyond our human power. Kaya nga lumalapit ang mga tao sa Kanya. Kaya nga hinahabol siya ng mga tao. O nowadays, ganun din ang nangyayari sa mga healing gathering, healing mass, healing prayers. No? Dinudumog ng mga tao. Yung ating mga pari na binigyan ng Panginoon o ginamit ng Panginoon as channels of His healing power. Pinupuntahan yan everywhere. Dinadagsa. Why? Because the power of Jesus is manifested through them. At ito nga ang sinisiwalat sa atin ng Ibanghelyo ngayon. And the second point is, this is about faith. Ang readings natin ay tungkol sa pagpapahayag ng pananampalataya sa Diyos. The first reading is talking about death. Nasabi doon ay, well, God is not the author of death. Death entered the world to the work of the devil. And God wanted us to live. God's purpose is for, have, for us to have life. Kay dyan nga life in its fullness. At ito ang pinapakita sa ating pagbasa ngayon. Ang istorya ng pananampalataya ng dalawang tao. Una si Jairus. A father's love to a daughter is expressed in a total surrender to Jesus. Nagpatira pa eh. O siguro ay nanikluhod. Maaaring ganun ang term na pwede nating i-translate sa ginawa ng, uh, ni, ni Jairus when he saw our Lord Jesus Christ surrendering to His power, surrendering to Jesus' authority. Typical ito na ginagawa ng isang nagmamahal. Kung ang kanyang minamahal ay may sakit. Ako ay minsan ang naimbitahan dyan sa isang children's hospital to give, distribute gifts at to pray over sa mga bata. Akala ko naman eh, they will just gather the children into a one hall at doon ko nalang babasbasan 
if I pray over. Nako. They asked me to go room by room, ward by ward. Sabi ko doon sa nag-invite sa kabay, mga dalawang oras tayo nito. Two to three hours. At pagpasok mo sa bawat ward, makikita mo doon ang mga batang may sakit. Siguro iba ordinary yung sakit. Yung iba naman eh, halos hindi ko na matingnan. Ngayon lang, nung nula ako naka-experience ng ganun. May mga bata na may sakit, their, their head is as big as a bowling ball. ball. Yung iba, nasa mga incubators pa. But what I notice also are the people accompanying them. Yung mga magulang, yung mga lolo, mga lola, yung iba siguro nakakatandang kapatid, yung iba siguro ay kaibigan ng magulang na dahil sa ang mga magulang ay naghahanap ng perang pambayad, pambili ng gamot, eh hindi sila makapagbantay doon sa kanilang mga anak. And these people, you can see in their eyes the desire that a priest like me may touch their daughter, their sons, the children. Kasi naniniwala sila sa pagpapagaling ng Panginoon. Naniniwala sila that God is using people as channels of this healing power. O yung babae na dinudugo. She lost everything na. Wala pa rin nangyayari sa kanyang kondisyon. And so she was so desperate to touch even the cloak of Jesus. Anong klaseng pananampalataya yan? Pananampalataya siguro na pinagtatawanan ng iba, kinukutya ng iba, pahawak-hawak ka pa, papunas-punas ka pa. Ang daming ganyan. That instead that we are being inspired of the way they express their faith, para bang sinasabi na, ano ba yan? May palakad-lakad pa ng paluhod. Pupunta sa baklaran, pupunta sa kiyapo, magpipilgrimage sa banawag, o sa manawag, pupunta sa kamay ni Jesus. Pupunta kay Padre Pio para lang makahawak, para lang makahipo sa pinaniniwalaan natin ginagamit ng Panginoon na daluyan ng kanyang kapangyarihan. Bakit? Kasi ayan, no? yung laylaya ng damit. Other say the hem of the clothes of Jesus became what? a channel of His healing power. Naramdaman nga ng Panginoon eh, <laughs> sino ang humawak sa laylayan ng aking damit sa akin? Isa pong babae na naniniwala na nananampalataya na sila ay gagaling. And so, ano ang tugon ng Panginoon? What was the reward of their faith? There's a line there in our responsorial psalm, no? Sabi doon, You turned our mourning into dancing. Yung aming pagluluksa, yung aming pagdadalamhati, yung aming pighati, ay pinalitan mo at ginawa mong isang indak. Mourning into dancing. Pinatigil mo ang pagdurugo at pinabangon mo ang isang batang may sakit. You said, Talita kum, little girl, you rise up. And for us, Lord, this is first and foremost a display of your great power beyond ours. But also, you showed us your love and concern and you rewarded our faith with healing with joy and so Lord here we are tayo rin eh 
meron yung illustration na that our world is so thick. Tayo rin, kanya-kanya ng nararamdaman, physical, psychological, spiritual. Lord, let us touch you. Mahawakan ka namin. Hindi nga lang mahawakan. <laughs> Matanggap pa sa komunyon. At Lord, pabangunin mo kami. Tell us also to rise up. And may our lives be lives of expression of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Faith ay sama na natin dito. And also trust. Yan ang sinasabi ng Panginoon eh. Yung pagtitiwala sa Kanya. So may healing be with us in the name of Jesus. A powerful but also a loving, compassionate, and merciful God. Amen. And with this, we express our faith by saying, I believe, I believe in, God, in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may receive healing in mind, body, and soul and become instruments of healing to one another. And let us pray, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May the Church, the people of God, continue Christ's healing work by caring for all those who are sick, depressed, the abandoned, and the elderly. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May doctors and nurses, social workers, and all those who care for the sick, the suffering, the poor, and the oppressed do their job with patience, skill, and mercy. We pray. Lord of life, hear yeah. our prayer. May all who mourn the passing, their loved ones, be comforted by their faith in the risen Lord, who has brought us life that can never be taken away. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. I will just add another prayer ano pagdasal po natin ang kaluluwa ng tatay ni ng ating rector dito sa shrine ano si yung pong tatay ni Father Ronnie Crisostomo ang pangalan po niya ay Aurelio so may eternal rest be granted unto him at ipagdasal din natin ang buong pamilya for comfort for consolation in these difficult times of their life Heavenly Father, listen to our humble petitions. Help us to have more faith in Jesus, healing power, your love for us and for all humanity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Spirit, 
Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. fount of all holiness and make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you their Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ. Touch him, receive him. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. The body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Deus 
Let us pray. <clears throat> May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask yes, you now, now to, look to look upon us with love and by, and by your healing hand, dispel the, the fear of sickness, sickness and death, restore, restore our hope and strengthen strength. our faith. We pray, we pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and, and to stem its transmission. transmission. We thank, thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to hell. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the, the unity, unity of the Holy Spirit, God, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calinsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademitz. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you pers persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the good news. Thanks be, be to, to God. Yeah. Hey.